Ah, wouldn't it be lovely to board a cruise ship and to be told you've been given a cruise cabin upgrade? Dream on because that really doesn't happen anymore. But there are a few ways to grab a cabin upgrade. One is risky and one is a waiting game. We spill all of the details in this episode. Upgrading your cabin can significantly enhance your cruise vacation experience. Whether you're choosing a balcony room for the stunning views or indulging in a luxurious suite to commemorate a special occasion. Upgrading your cabin can be really worthwhile sometimes. Nevertheless, when you're mindful of your budget, it may not always be feasible to spend an extra for a more upscale accommodation. Fortunately, there are simple strategies to secure complementary or cheaper cabin upgrades. Now, one approach albeit somewhat uncertain to potentially secure a cabin upgrade is through the type of cabin you initially book. Guaranteed cabins for instance involve reserving a specific cabin category like an inside or an ocean view or a balcony and allowing the cruise line to assign an actual cabin closer to your sailing date. This method does not guarantee a particular deck or location but occasionally, booking a guaranteed cabin can come with some unexpected perks, such as a complimentary cabin upgrade. This happens because cruise lines continue to sell cabins leading all the way up to your departure. And if the category you booked, a guaranteed cabin, sells out, they may upgrade you to the next available category at no extra cost. Thus, you might book an inside cabin but end up with an ocean view or book an ocean view cabin and receive a balcony cabin. Now this actually happens quite often, but there are no guarantees involved at all. Now, if you're comfortable with the uncertainty of your cabin's location, booking a guaranteed cabin might be the way to go for you. However, if the idea of potentially ending up in a cabin within a category that makes you uneasy it's advisable to avoid this option. You might find that you're given a cabin in a less desirable location, like near the theatre or beneath the Lido deck, which can get quite noisy, or really far away from any staircase or elevator. Another option is to explore taking advantage of free upgrade promotions that cruise lines occasionally run. During these promotions, you can pay less for an expensive cabin and receive an upgrade to the next cabin type for free. For example, you might want to book an ocean view cabin at the price of an inside cabin or a mini suite cabin at the cost of a regular balcony cabin. These promotions are unpredictable and do come and go. There's no set dates for when promotions like this are going to happen so you're going to need to keep an eye out for them. So keep checking in on all of the different websites, maybe sign up for a few newsletters just to double check when any promotions do come out because as we said they're a little bit unpredictable. Currently, Princess Cruises are actually offering this type of promotion right now with free stateroom upgrades on cabins. So it might be a really good option for you. You get to pay for a lower category cabin, but get a better cabin. Win-win for me. Another option you could consider is inquiring about cabin upgrades after you've already boarded the ship. Now, if the ship hasn't reached full capacity and hasn't sold out, there might actually be opportunities to pay for an upgrade to a more luxurious cabin. Note what I just said there pay because nobody is going to give you a free cabin unless you're some kind of celebrity or something like that so the majority of us are not celebrities so you're going to have to pay but you can get it much cheaper than booking before you go surprisingly this post boarding upgrade option can sometimes be significantly more affordable than booking an upgraded cabin before the cruise however it's crucial to understand again that this approach comes with no guarantees. That's something that you're going to hear about all of these tips. Basically, none of them come with a guarantee that you're going to get upgraded, but these are the chances you've got to take if you do want a cheaper upgrade. Typically, the most desirable and expensive cabins tend to be the first to sell out, interestingly, so the available upgrades may be limited. Nevertheless, it's certainly worthwhile to ask about an upgrade if you do desire a better cabin experience at a lower price. It's important to note that cruise lines have become less inclined to offer complimentary upgrades in recent years. Years ago, if you were nice and asked, you may be upgraded if you got a lovely person. Just like flight upgrades, a lot of people used to get upgraded by just asking, but this doesn't really happen anymore. This process has become somewhat of a myth or a rarity. So ignore those videos where people say, oh, if you don't ask, you 
you don't get you're not going to get a free upgrade it is very 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 unlikely indeed in today's cruise industry if you want an upgrade you should have to anticipate having to pay for it have you scored a cheeky upgrade before we would love to hear from you let us know in the comment section below and whilst you're there please hit that subscribe button it really does help us out to create more helpful videos like this now one of the most promising ways to score an upgrade is since the COVID pandemic many cruise lines have implemented a new system where you can actually bid for an upgrade this includes cruise lines such as Norwegian Cruise Line, MSC Cruises, Princess Cruises, Virgin Voyages, Royal Caribbean and celebrity cruisers. Now, if upgrades are available, you'll usually receive an email invitation to bid for an upgrade. The email typically includes a link to the upgrade website where you'll log in using your cruise booking details, such as your name, email address, and booking number. So make sure you have these on hand. When you log into the website, you'll see various upgrade options currently available. To bid, you select the amount of money you're willing to pay using a little slider the system will provide an estimate of how competitive your bid is based on past bids an arrow will indicate the strength of your bid with a low bid suggesting a poor chance of winning and a high bid indicating a strong chance of success so it's a little bit like gambling whilst there are no guarantees this bidding system offers a considerably higher chance of receiving an upgrade compared to all of the other methods more and more cruise lines are bringing this in now and it is a really good idea for the cruise lines to fill those money-making cabins when they're not selling out and what's great about this is that you'll be scoring these upgrades usually at a significant discount Discount compared to the cruise line's regular rates so you can grab a proper bargain for instance a few months ago we booked a royal caribbean cruise with a normal balcony cabin a few weeks before departure we received an email inviting us to bid for an upgrade we decided to bid for a junior suite there was lots of different upgrades available grand suites and big suites like that don't get me wrong they are still very expensive even on these bid websites but they are still a lot cheaper so we placed a modest bid of 150 $50 per person thinking it was unlikely to be successful to our surprise though a few days before our cruise we received a magic email confirming that we've had our bid accepted yay we saved a substantial $700 per person compared to the advertised rate of our cruise. We felt quite pleased as we entered our suite, knowing that we had paid significantly less than the others for the privilege. So we held our heads up high and were quite proud of ourselves because we scored a really, really lovely upgrade. That cruise was on the Quantum of the Seas and we took that out of Singapore a few months ago. And that series is going to be on our Cruise with Ben and David channel. So make sure you look out for that where we go through the whole upgrade process now what's a bit strange is that we don't know the criteria of how cruise lines use the system to upgrade people in fact it might not solely rely just on the amount of money you bid the process can be somewhat mysterious and interestingly we've observed instances where individuals who have bid less than others have received the upgrade how strange is that? It appears that cruise lines may consider additional factors, such as how much you paid for your original cruise. And if you paid more than somebody else who booked the same category of cabin, you might have a higher chance of securing the upgrade. Additionally, if you hold a high status with the Cruise Line's loyalty program, you could also enjoy an advantage when it comes to upgrade opportunities. We just don't know. As I said, it's a little bit more mysterious than it looks. So how Cruise Lines have an algorithm to pick these people, we just don't know. But there you have it, the most realistic ways to score an upgrade. Unfortunately, in most cases, you're going to have to pay for it. But we hope we have made things a little bit clearer for you. Thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to keep informed about future videos we also have to say a big thank you to our patrons as well you too can become a patron by clicking the link in the description section below in return we give you things like ad free videos so no annoying ads early access to our videos so you see them before anybody else extra episodes including behind the scenes videos and a monthly zoom call where we get to talk to you which is fabulous so I guess that's it. See you next time.